Hello and welcome back to my magical chamber. I am the Soul Enchantress. And today's topic is on shadow beings and entities or shadow entities. Now this is a very unusual topic for me to cover. Um, first because I don't work with the lower astral realms and I do most of all of my work in... Um, the high vibrational galactic and cosmic energies it's not to say that there are no destructive energies in those realms yes there are but i just don't work with the lower vibrational forms but the reason for this video is um a few reasons and that is firstly um it's children um, can be affected by shadow beings and shadow entities and also those who suffer from great sadness or great anger or great fears that are internalized and come out as depression or um, uncontrollable anger. Um, that type of person can also be affected. So because I work uh, with my clients, about their children as well as I do help quite a few people who do suffer from depression or um, other fear-based internal issues and to work through their shadow and shadow work is a huge part of uh, the soul work that I do. So that is the reason for this video and I decided to channel a message for you. So if you are drawn to this topic, if you are drawn to watch this video, and if you have come across um, any of the phenomena that I will describe, um, then you have certain deep-seated challenges and issues that you need to work through, bring to the surface and acknowledge and release because otherwise you will stay in those lower vibrational um, echelons and you are not going to actually get the help that you need. Okay, so let me go through the information that I have channeled for shadow beings and shadow entities. Okay, so let's just start with a, de a definition of what I term it to be. I have no idea what other people are actually speaking about these uh, types of entities. This is from my personal experience. I have actually seen shadow beings and I know what they are and also um, from what I've seen and from what my experience has been but also from the channeled information that I've received. Okay so let's let's start on that. So shadow beings or the dark shadows that you see in the periphery vision are lower astral forms. So shadow beings you actually see kind of, uh, you see uh, a shadow walk past but you turn around and it's gone. So um, sometimes disincarnate um, or ghosts uh, appear as shadow beings uh, they are actually the entities but shadow beings are more more um more of an energy that lives on the astral planes as and lower vibrational planes as opposed to someone who's actually passed on and hasn't hasn't actually moved on to a higher vibrational plane okay so i'm not going to go into um anything to do with past souls because that is a, a, a different topic but this is more to do with these astral forms that are termed shadow beings okay so these beings the reason that you see them that way is because these beings are vibrating at such a low level close enough to the 3d physical form that you are that they appear as a physical looking shadow okay um and However, as you raise your vibration and learn to connect with galactic energy or if you are working with me and you have connected with your galactic guides or your galactic selves or your galactic heritages, you will find that 
when you see galactic energies, they appear more as a white, smoky sort of energy. And I don't know how else to describe it. And these are very basic ways of me trying to describe the two different types of uh, beings or forms. So um, galactic energies tend to have like this um, oh, uh, sort of like this luminous, um, uh, smoky uh, effect when when you see them and they can be front on um, it's a little bit different to seeing visions where you can actually see that in your mind's eye or in front of you um, and then the shadow beings tend to they they tend to be um, sort of solid shadow like they actually look like a shadow that is why they're called that okay so that's kind of the two different energies shadow beings are not so much harmful I know there's a lot of um, talk in the spiritual community that they are demonic etc etc but demons themselves are not harmful <laughs> at the end of the day it is the person who's wielding whatever energy that they're wielding and what they're doing with it that causes the harm okay so um the shadow beings are not so much harmful as that they feed off your lower vibration and they're they're actually more attracted to you because of your lower vibration and because you match their makeup, so to speak. So they're made of this lower vibrational energy. And if you are vibrating at a lower vibration because you're sad or depressed or angry or whatever it is, you're more likely to see these shadow beings. If you are truly happy, uh, crazy in love, or you know that vibration where you feel like the whole world is, um, is a big pink balloon kind of energy, if if you're vibrating at that level, you will not see shadow beings, okay? It's more likely that you'll see galactic beings. Okay, um, the other thing that I gleaned from my channeling about this, and this is such a weird topic for me to channel, but I just felt that um, who ne whoever needs to hear it will hear it, and um, there are people that really need this message, so that's why I was guided to channel it. Um, Okay, so if you see shadow beings, the way to stop is actually to face your inner fears and shadows and to release them. Because you need to get to the root of what's causing, um, and I will touch on this a bit later on, you need to get to the root of what is causing you to be an attraction to these shadow beings and why you are attracting them through the portals that you may have opened, okay? And the portals can be coming from anything, from mirrors in your house, from... Um, from windows, doorways, um, unseen portals through a, a wall space, whatever it is. But you are, I mean, at the end of the day, there is no um, portal, so to speak, because at the end of the day, everything exists all at the same time. So you can travel any which way you want. It's your vibration that opens specific portals and allows you to attract or for something else to attract you into that same vibrational field. Okay, so um, what is the other thing that I wanted to... Okay, so here we now, we're going to kind of get to um, kind of the reasons why you are vibrating at that level. So sometimes depression is the initial attraction factor okay but the continued symptoms of depression for example are the cause of could be the cause of shadow beings filling your energetic body with their energy due to their close proximity to you so for example whatever caused you to be initially depressed lowered your vibration and i'm going to use use the term depression but it could be any lower vibrational um, emotion okay so it could be anger it can be um, as I said to you it could be just crazy fears whatever it is but I'm going to use depression in, in this whole example because it's just easier than going through every single one so say for example whatever it is the event or the experience or person or whatever it is that plummeted you into the depths of depression <clears throat> when you lowered your vibration by staying in that mode of depression you became the attraction point for these shadow beings but your symptoms continuing for extended periods of time could be related to the fact that these shadow beings being so close to you and because they are already an energetic form 
being so close to your energetic body or your auric field, whatever you want to call it, is actually causing you to stay depressed. Okay, so um, I hope that is clear. Um, I was given this as one of the solutions, which I thought was really interesting. Cloaking. So um, you could cloak yourself in higher vibrations and this can be done via enchantments. Um, which is what I do for my clients. So you could cloak yourself in higher vibrations because initially, while you are facing your fears, while you are working on your depression, while you are always trying to struggle above um, and raise your vibration, you're still you're still vibrating at that low stage, which means you're still going to be attracting them. So in order to give you some breathing space, if you cloak yourself in a higher vibration until you're able to resonate at a higher vibratory level, this will allow you some breathing space from the shadow entities so that you can raise your own vibration and therefore they cannot reattach. So they can't reattach into your emotional, um, your energetic vibration, sorry, because uh, you would have cloaked yourself in a higher vibration. And that could be something that you could do. This is a band-aid um, though because at the end of the day you really need to raise your vibration otherwise they'll just keep reattaching. Um, so the cloaking method is actually um, a really amazing um, method that I was given in my channelings. So they may, they may come back. They also, the way that you could be bringing them is they may come back with you if you astral travel of like you could be bringing shadow beings with you or um, that's consciously if you're astral traveling or unconsciously in dream time, okay? And that is how it works for kids. The kids go dreaming, come back and they come back with shadow beings and something at school or whatever may, um, or they could be being bullied and therefore their vibration would be lowered. They could be depressed and therefore the shadow beings attach themselves to the kids and there is a continued, uh, continued, continued, doesn't even exist. <laughs> a continued period of depression that is actually caused by the attachment of the shadow beings and so the child can't raise their vibration okay at the end of the day the the cure for it is actually to acknowledge your deepest sadness or fears or anger or jealousy whatever it is and release it and then raise your vibration so destroying the shadow beings unless you have worked on yourself, is just a band-aid fix and it won't last. I hope this has been helpful and um, if there is any way that I can help you um, and you want to raise your vibration or cloak yourself um, while you raise your vibration, um, I would love to help you. The easiest way to contact me is through my website, soulenchantress.com. Joyous blessings.